Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is July 21st, and this is the market overview. We'll be looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, XOI, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, and SLV. So, we had a uh, big, big day on uh, in the markets, and um, here we are with the Dow. Huge green candle, very nice. You'll notice that... Uh, it tagged uh, the high of the prior peak today, backed off from it. Notice also that that peak coincides with the upper uh, price consensus from a month ago. Makes complete sense. So um, beyond that, we have the short-term moving averages pointing up, very nice. Uh, Long-term bar forming, very nice. We do have some wobble in the short-term moving averages, but uh, for the moment, that is uh, not of a concern to me. It is very early in this move, so uh, I would expect that to be more defined before it is a real problem. Um, we did have the spinning top yesterday we talked about, and uh, well, it, uh, it made up its mind, which is what uh, spinning tops do. So overall, this looks pretty good. CCI getting high, uh, stochastic getting high, um, RSI staying below overbought. We do have the bullish cross of the MACD, MACD histogram ticking up. So this does look very nice. Um, you know, after big days, oftentimes you'll rest for a day or have a small pull pullback or whatever, just like we did on uh, yesterday. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see if that happens tomorrow. Certainly this resistance up here, um, if it breaks that tomorrow, that will be uh, very nice. Break this peak, you have one minor peak above that, and then we have the highs. So even the highs are not far away, not far away at all. So um, we shall see what happens. Um, beyond that, my only cause for concern going to the 60 minute which we do all the time is we have some divergences um, on the 60 minute time frame you can see that we have it on the stochastic slanting down uh, we have it on the RSI it's slanting down prices are going up you see it on the MACD histogram peak lower peak not confirmed by price so um, those are there. SPX, more of the same. We did not get nearly uh, close to uh, this prior peak like the Dow did. Uh, we do have the short-term moving averages uh, expanding and separating. Very nice. Everything is pointing up. Even the RSI is, has a slight tick up. Cross, bull uh, bullish cross on the MACD histogram. MACD his I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. MACD histogram ticking up, MACD itself bullish cross. And like the Dow, go to the 60 minute and stochastic negative divergence, uh, RSI sloping down, not confirmed by price, um, and high peak, lower peak on the MACD histogram. So, it completely makes sense to me that uh, we will need some sort of a pause pullback after a big move. Doesn't have to be tomorrow, but um, you know we're going to see what happens. Uh, here we are with the VIX. We were saying last night that uh, the VIX should be below the bar. That it was the one uh, you know fly in the soup type deal, and today we got it. So. We knew something wasn't quite right because uh, it looked just like the uh, SPX and the Dow. And for it to go below the bar today is a, a good sign. So just by this, it would appear that the rally should continue. Uh, perhaps it will have a small pause, but uh, this, is a, this is a good sign. I didn't uh, bother to look to see if we had any divergences on the VIX. And we do. Stochastic 
lower peaks, higher peaks, not confirmed by price. RSI, lower peak, higher peak, not confirmed by price. MACD histogram, lower peak, higher peak, not confirmed by price. XOI, also a very strong day. They came out with news saying that they were not going to release any more oil. And uh, this looks this looks good. CCI up, stochastic up, RSI up, MACD histogram up, MACD up. Uh, it is getting close to the upper Bollinger Band, so um, if it slows down, that would be natural. And we're we're going to have to see. This is just a, I just look at this as a uh, confirmation correlation tool for the Dow and the SPX. So um, this certainly goes along with the major indexes. TNA did not move with the strength that the Dow and the SPX did today, which is very odd. You know, it should be up at uh, 88. Um, maybe it's just taking its time to catch up, but it ended with a spinning top. The expansion of the short-term moving averages is not very good. Um, CCI just getting above zero, so people are not buying this the way that they are buying uh, everything else. Uh, Stochastic is clicking up, RSI is neutral, MACD is trying to figure out what to do with itself and uh, the MACD histogram also pretty neutral. So, what else do we have on it? 60 minute, aha. Divergences, higher peak on the stochastic, lower, not confirmed by price. RSI slanting down, not confirmed by price. MACD histogram, higher peak, lower peak, slanting down, not confirmed by price. UUP, now now to the fun stuff. Uh, currencies, we had the Euro news come out and uh, it was taken extremely positive by the market. Big gap on the dollar. It is below the lower Bollinger Band. We have ended with a spinning top. CCI very low. Um, stochastic below 20. RSI just barely clicking down past the 50. Down take on the histogram, uh, bearish cross on the MACD itself. Ah, well, it gives me pause that it's a spinning top. It gives me pause that it is a um, below the lower Bollinger Band. It gives me pause that CCI is so low. But it, CCI can definitely stay there. I'm just saying that it is pretty darn low. And if we go into the 60 minute, do we have anything to look at here? Um, no, no, no. And if you look out several days, you can see that we have a lower peak on the MACD histogram and a higher low today, not confirmed by price. But surprisingly, we don't have uh, really any other ones. You could say that we do on the CCI too, but. Um, I'm not going to put too much stock into that one. So, a uh, small bounce back. It seems like it should be in order, but uh, we shall see. No debt resolution, so perhaps this one just continues to sink and pushes the Bolger Bend down. Certainly, if we had a deal for the debt ceiling, this would uh, jump, but. Uh, it's going to be very dependent upon the euro. And speaking of the euro, FXE, spinning top. Uh, we are getting crossover prior to entering the flatline bar. CCI is not into the overbought area yet. Stochastic is not either. RSI has not even passed the 50 line. We are getting the bullish cross on the MACD. MACD histogram ticking up. This does look very nice. Um, so it'll be a matter of people deciding whether or not um, the bailout was good enough to continue the push up, or if today was overblown. We do have a big gap. So 
once again, wait and see. And uh, that spinning top, I hate spinning tops. 60 minute, do we have any divergences? No, no, no. And if you look back several days, MACD histogram, yes. So uh, very mild, but uh, we've been saying for a few weeks that the currencies are not affected as much by technicals as they are by news. So no change in that. GLD, red candle, another downtick, giving us a price target in the 153s. This is the second VIX. So, so if the market is going to um, have some problems, maybe it will continue on its way. Maybe because the market isn't having problems, it'll go on its way. But uh, if it does go down, that probably means that the dollar is going up. So uh, if this goes down, I would assume that it'll be bearish. If it goes up, then uh, the dollar must probably continue to uh, weaken. But we do have a couple of downtick targets. So I'm not exactly sure what to say about this one. It does look very bullish. CCI is ticking down. Stochastic is ticking down. RSI is pretty high. We are getting down ticks on the MACD histogram, have been for a couple of days. And uh, the MACD is still just leveled out, waiting to uh, figure out what to do with itself. I'm not sure exactly what to say about this one. Certainly, it could correct this bubble, and that would be nice. SLV, more of the same as with the uh, GLD. Down tick CCI, down tick stochastic, and uh, this is interesting. It's not staying up on the RSI like gold is. It's below the 70 now. We have a slight down tick on the histogram. MACD is still positive. So, and it's not a hammer. The body is too big, but we do have two down tick targets, and uh, we'll just have to see what happens with that. Um, oh, down tick targets. We were talking about. Uh, the other day about the first downtick on the VIX, it had not been met. So today it finally did it. And uh, once you know it, let's see here. It was on this day, so four days from here, one, two, three, four, it met it right on the dot. So uh, that's uh, really fantastic. Whenever we have a downtick on the daily, um, it should resolve itself in four days. And it uh, it did that. So um, so that little trick is holding up very well. It still has an extremely good winning rate. And uh, and there you have it. There is the market overview for tonight. And uh, maybe tomorrow will be just as exciting as today. Who knows? Uh, GE will be reporting in the morning. Microsoft reported uh, just a little while ago, along with AMD and some others. Um, I haven't really absorbed what uh, transpired with those. But uh, as always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.